Hello everyone, and today I want to show you guys something. 35%. 35% of Deep Woken individuals have not even tried Layer 2. They might say it's because of the parasite, they might say because it's difficult, etc, etc, and I'm not gonna lie. I was actually the same way. I asked my friends if they wanted to do layer 2 with me all the time so they could carry me throughout it, but I decided enough is enough. I'll try soloing it. And I was surprised at myself on how I never tried completing it in the first place because it's so easy. If you have never tried layer 2 before, you should try it now! I mean it with a hundred percent, a thousand percent, because Deep Woken is a difficult game with permanent character loss. Losing characters is a part of the game that should be expected. The game will only get harder from here, and if you cannot adapt to it now, you'll just keep falling farther and farther behind. A lot of people are still struggling with Bonekeeper. He's really not that difficult. Sure, some of his parry times are abysmal at best. But I've learned that if you are new to Bonekeeper, just try dodging his attacks, don't, don't be extra. He telegraphs his attacks and it's very easy to read them, block parry dodge and stay calm. And guess what, if you don't get it on your first try it's fine, because there is a light hook that lasts 20 minutes. I don't know what the devs were thinking of making a light hook last this long, but it lasts 20 minutes. If you guys lose you're fine. You can complete all of floor 1 in 20 minutes. Another reason people are having trouble with layer 2 is that they keep getting lost. And for that I say just use a guide. Supa has an honestly really good guide for new players getting into layer 2. I use this and it helped me a lot. You might need to slow down the video a little bit, but going through the guide step by step to learn the layout of floor 1 will help you a lot and you'll realize floor one is not as complicated and difficult as you make it out to be and finally chaser a lot of people are scared of chaser especially because of the rework he's really not that difficult guys you may die to him once or twice sure but remember you have the light hook let's say it's about to run out and you're fighting chaser and you don't think you can beat him just use it because there is no shame in not beating floor 2 the first try. Especially now that you have accrued more knowledge in fighting with him and experience, you can beat him with less damage. But if you don't try at all, you'll just never get accustomed to Deep Woken's difficult curve. Because as I said previously, the game will only get harder from here. The devs are probably going to shift the game into becoming more difficult as time goes on, so you need to push yourself into tougher situations and get accustomed to them because it's really not that bad. I assure you, 100%. Hopefully, I convinced some of you guys to start playing Layer 2. I'm making a blacksmith progression video based off of the blacksmith at Castle Light. Watch out for the video. Have a good day wherever you are. I'll see you next time. Peace.